as of this moment. Our Deloitte tote board total of the Winter Survival Radiothon for Thaw Your Contributions and Pledges, $315,625. And by the way, we also have a very wonderful online auction. There is all kinds of wonderful stuff up there at WWJ.com that's been donated by our wonderful sponsors for you to bid on online. I'll just tell you, I put a bid in on a garage door out there. And if you'd like to outbid me on that garage door, I welcome you to it. Go, go for it. But check it out. Lots of good stuff at WWJ.com. Let's throw it now to the floor and go to our WWJ News Director, our big, big boss, Rob Davidek. Good morning, Rob. Hi, Roberta. Nice job, as always, to everybody at WWJ, as well as Thaw, Deloitte, and I have Diane Bostic-Robinson from the Thaw Board and Kay Benish from Deloitte, which uh, without these two uh, ladies, this would never be, uh, um, it would never, never would have happened. Uh, but first of all, and this is kind of what we want to get in, this into, it's about the community, it's about giving. There's so much need, and we heard the stories over the past 31 hours about this. And these two individuals just came down to the MGM Grand Detroit. Uh, I'm standing next to Tyler Jackson and Adam Yee. They're from Lake Orion. And I'm gonna have uh, Tyler explain what they did with some cans. Uh, we just went around and distributed flyers and asked people to donate aluminum cans that we could return. And we got about 1,700 and we raised about $170. Uh, $170, and again, uh, it's, it, I think they got it in on time, so it's double matched, which is, uh, I don't know, 170 times three. Never do uh, math in public. But Adam, uh, just explain and, and talk about a little bit just why you, you did this. Well, it has been a cold winter, and we looked around the internet, and we found Thaw, and uh, we thought it would be pretty nice to help out those in need this winter. Excellent. Thank you guys both for coming down. I appreciate you driving from Lake Orion uh, down, down here on a Saturday morning. Now going to where it really matters, and it all matters, but Kay Benish has an updated number uh, for us from the Deloitte Tote Board. And, Would uh, you like me to do the drum roll real quickly here? Yeah, we'll do the drum roll again. All right, here we go. There it is. So the number just got updated again because we've had some more calls. It's $315,700, and 90000 of that was during the triple match time, so that's, that's really great. And I won't do the math right now, but it was fantastic with 2,400-plus people and 300-plus in the 950 Club. What a great event and what a great time we've all had here. And Kay, again, we appreciate it. You guys have been with us for the last seven years, and we appreciate all the help that all your whole staff does because I know it's, uh, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get those donations as they, as they come in, especially during the double and triple match. Uh, that $315,000 total obviously does not include the auction, which is still going on, and double that and you have more than $600,000 in assistance. And Diane Bostic-Robinson from Thaw and the board, uh, just talk about the importance of that. Well, it's so important because, you know, during these hard economic times, so many people are in need, more than any of us recognize. And we are so appreciative of WWJ, the wonderful staff, and all of our wonderful volunteers who help to keep their neighbors warm. And we appreciate, again, your help and the staff that you have at Thaw because I know uh, Rose Sardi, I'll talk about Rose because she's the coordinator of this whole event and she did a great job uh, this year. Excellent job. All of the staff, all of the staff under Rose's leadership, we couldn't have done it without them. George Ann and her vision for this seven years ago, we thank you. We can't thank you enough. Excellent. Thanks again. We'll throw it back to you guys. And again, I want to mention George Ann too because it was her idea uh, to help out the Heat and Warmth Fund, and it's been, a, it's been a great seven years. We wrap up another one, and we'll send it back to the big bosses, Joe and Roberta. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, I, we still see people taking your pledges in the Comerica Bank Call Center. Our volunteers at 888-579-4950. And, of course, without the support of all those volunteers donating parts of their weekend to help out, this would not have been possible. Also, the accountants from Deloitte for seven years in a row, not just providing the dollars and cents, uh, the Deloitte Tote Board, also they are significant cash donors to the Thaw Radiothon, our presenting sponsor, Airlines Parking, Thaw's utility partners, including DTE Energy, matching every dollar donated to the Radiothon, sometimes double, even triple matching. And so the heating assistance can be spread as far as possible. DTE Energy employees donated so generously on 
the hamster trail, not to mention Michelle Zardowski and her team at Franco Public Relations. And again, all the incredible volunteers who have been manning the Comerica Bank Call Center, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we couldn't have done this without you. Your enthusiasm contagious. We love you for doing this. Thank you so much. Also, we'd like to say thank you at Thaw, Diane Bostic Robinson and the entire board of Thaw for your leadership and your support. Deb Devinney, who is wearing multiple hats as interim executive director, CFO, heading the counting room operations. Alfred Baker, the director of development. Lila Bradley, who assembled all the items on our online auction. Check them out at WWJ.com. They are great. And Rose Sardi, our Radiothon producer for 2010. And again, everything that you spent through the on-air auction is part of that DTE Energy and other utility partners match. So while you're getting a great bargain, buying fun stuff, you're also helping share the warmth in Southeast Michigan. At WWJ, here's who we would like to thank. These are our wonderful co-workers and bosses, Debbie Spadafora and Courtney Ulbrich, leading the WWJ promotion staff. Bob Ostazewski, our chief engineer, and his team, Nick Marinelli and Al Bolding. Also, Bruce Stoller, Elliot Lerner, and the entire staff of account executives, recruiting many of the sponsors, without whom this radio thought would not have been possible. Stephanie Garrett and Crystal Knight, mm -hmm. who compiled information and helped keep the traffic in order, and they just basically were fantastic cheerleaders. And our anchors, reporters, producers, and editors, both on-site and back at the station for all they do. What a great team. And of course, our main man, our news director, Mr. I don't get an ounce of sleep during the Thaw Radiothon, Mr. Rob Davidek. But he does seem to be remarkably refreshed. We wish we knew his secret. And, of course, the entire staff at MGM Grand Detroit for their warm hospitality and their tremendous support hosting our Winter Survival Radiothon for Thaw this year. And everyone who called in a pledge, no matter how small and, of course, no matter how large, thank you so much for supporting your community, neighbors, to neighbor in Metro Detroit and around Michigan. For your pledges, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And again, that Deloitte tote board total, the semifinal total has risen to $316,656 with much, much more to come as you have supported once again one of our innovations as we celebrate our 90th year of innovation, the Winter Survival Radiothon for Thaw. Thank you so very much.